There you go. Thank you. <sighs> All right, y'all. So let me get this camera straight. So I feel like we owe y'all an update video because the last few days have just been a little rough for us. We actually found out some very disturbing news or unsettling news yesterday. Yeah, so. we told you guys something personal was going on, so that's why we didn't post. And it is in regards to Cameron punching a hole in the door. Yeah. I didn't think this was going to happen, but apparently... You can't punch holes in doors. So, we got an eviction letter or eviction notice that told us we have to quit our vacate within 30 days. Which means they came into our apartment when we weren't here. Mm -hmm. So we're so we're gonna fight it because I don't think that's right. We didn't give them the right to come inside here when we weren't here. We weren't home. We weren't present. They didn't tell us they were coming in. So that's borderline illegal. It's got to be illegal. Yeah, I mean I know we live here and we're like tenants, but still. So I actually went down there and talked to the people at the leasing office, and when I walked in there. They had no idea what was going on. At least they act like they had no idea what was going on. But when I talked to them, they basically told me the manager's not there. The person who has all the decisions and the authority to do anything, they are not there and they won't be here for another week. So they looked in the system, said they can't change anything, but it does have a notice that we have 30 days to leave and quit, vacate, whatever you want to call it because we're in violation of our lease for damaging company or property that is not ours. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I don't know why we they couldn't just tell us, be like, hey, replace this. Like, it's just a door. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not sure. And we think maybe, like, our neighbor reported us because a little bit ago... It was definitely her. Cameron I mean, had, no, like, no, it's not no think. It was definitely her. Maybe it was her because Cameron had a little, like, run-in with her. Not, like, I don't know, kind of a run-in with her about her dog barking. And it was, like, annoying Cameron because he's here all day. Yeah. And so he can't, like, think or, like, edit the videos or, like, do any of that stuff, so... No, I couldn't sleep. Like, <laughs> seriously. She had the dogs out early, early in the morning. And when she moved in and the dog just kept on barking and barking and barking and wouldn't allow you to sleep. The whole building could hear it. I reported her because I couldn't sleep. So, come on in. Dog of booze. So, that's not right for anybody to be able to have their dog just going nuts so and nobody can sleep. When our dogs bark, we like bring them in. Like, that's like common courtesy. Like, when your dogs bark, bring them in. So, no, I mean, her dog was on the inside. Still oh, it's going, on the inside. <laughs> on the inside, going ham. Even on the outside, too. But, I think she's had a, what, what do you call it? A vendetta against me? A vendetta. Vendetta. <laughs> she's had a vendetta against me, y'all, uh, ever since then. Because I, I feel like what she had to do is put her dog up inside a um, daycare. Like a kennel or whatever. Doggy daycare. Whatever. Which costs money, right? I Nobody really expected anything don't like have that. Dogs, those things are pretty expensive. So I think she's had it out for me since then. And basically... She may have heard what was going on during the prank and whatnot. It she reported it. So Which on one hand is understandable because it's not. if you heard it, you probably thought some crazy stuff was going on. But to top it off, they actually said that we have three other violations. They said we've been getting noise complaints and more noise complaints. And I'm just like, we've never been notified. Y'all yeah. have our email, y'all have our phone number. They didn't email you, did they? I mean, and that the other ones I would say aren't valid because a lot of people do a lot of things. Um, like people are smoking, dogs are barking like crazy. Like we're actually fairly quiet. And not to even talk about the cars and the mufflers outside, y'all. Everybody has a modified muffler and it's just like crazy, crazy loud. I mean like, why are you putting a modified muffler on a little tiny car that has no real big engine? You know so what I mean? we're like the least part of the noise problems here. We don't, we don't really do anything. Like, we're, we're like little angels compared to everybody else here. <laughs> like, seriously, we are. We're like little angels compared to everybody else. So. Yeah. I mean, so if, it kind of sucks. But, I mean, we're like, like I said, we're going to fight it. And I think it's very fightable. But we do have to prepare for it not being fightable and prepare for us actually having to be gone in 30 days. But what they were saying was, we have three violations, right? So, when they were talking about three violations... They've never notified us that, so that's illegal, and you have to have a certain amount of violations, I think, to actually be able 
to kick somebody or boot them from their apartment. You can't just boot them out of their lease like that. We've paid our rent on time, every time, mm. even in advance sometimes. So, they playing games, y'all. And I ain't about to let that go down. Cameron doesn't let nobody play games. Y'all, I would not want to deal with Cameron in, like, any situation like this. <laughs> y'all should see him in action when things like this happen to him. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's pretty much where we are. We're between a rock and a hard place <laughs> right now because nobody would expect to have to leave anywhere, especially 30 days. 30 days may seem like a lot of time, but it's, it's not like really a lot of time. When it comes to moving and finding somewhere else to live and moving out and moving in, it is like no time at all. <laughs> exactly. So, with that being said, I have to wait to talk to the manager till next week. So, we'll get an update next week, but... Prior to that, we're probably going to go look at some apartments and things like that and start trying to prepare for leaving because, honestly, we don't know where we're going to go. I mean, 30 days is very, very tough notice, but I believe the plan is to, we discussed it, we have to hurry up and sign another lease and actually run the background check and all that stuff before they actually put an eviction on our background. Yeah, and I guess on the bright side, we are thinking about moving down to actual Dallas. So, I mean, we'll be kind of, we'll be closer to my job. And we're looking at some kind of nice apartments. I looked at some nice apartments online. So, and I like apartment shopping. So, I mean, that's something. Yeah, but it's not really all fun and dandy. She's like, she's excited for it, but it's like, no, 30 days to pack up everything and leave and all that stuff. I don't want to do it. No, I'm very comfortable. I don't want to do it either. I just like, I don't know. I just like to like look on like, I don't know, things happen for a reason. You just look on like the brighter side of things. So I got to look at this lease. You know, if they actually try to put us out of here, then what I may do is actually try to contact a lawyer because I don't think it's right. Yeah, I don't think it, And I also, I'm pretty sure like we can fight it. That's why I'm not like freaking out too much. I feel like we have like, I don't know, the law on our side and morals and rightness. Because she knows a little bit about the law because she's been listening to your boy, you know what I'm saying? It's always about the law. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah, so we're just uh, trying to keep in high spirits right now and just be still the same old, same old. So what we're going to do is show y'all like some apartment shopping vlogs and all that stuff whenever we go see them. Uh, we may go see some later on the day. Is that right? So, yeah, that's the plan. And sorry, if you guys are new to the channel and this is the first video that y'all seeing, we're not a bunch of clowns. We're good people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, just because we're getting evicted doesn't mean we're bad people. You guys have to go back and like watch the prank and see that like, you know, nothing too crazy happened. Says the lady who's getting evicted. But I think it was not my fault. I think it was actually Eden's fault. So no, it was his fault. I mean, if we got to put the blame on somebody, it's going. The blame's going to go on. I'm not putting blame on anybody. The blame. The blame's going to go on her. There's no blame. No, what? No blame. There's no blame. Even if you wouldn't have pulled the prank, then this wouldn't happen. No controls indoors. Wait, y'all haven't even seen it yet. So the plan was to hurry up and get this thing out of here, but I guess they got us beforehand. So this is the door right here, and this thing's kind of ugly. Yeah, it's it's ugly. It's all the way through. Hey, back up out of here. What you doing? <laughs> Why are you looking at me through the door? It does look kind of crazy. I'll give it to you. It looks. If I came in here and I saw someone like punch this hole in the door, I might think some crazy stuff went down. But still. Exactly. So I mean, if anything, we're lucky because the cops weren't called on us because people could have thought that was more so domestic abuse or yeah. something like that. So I mean, uh, on the brightest side of things, we are uh, a little bit lucky to not have that happen. Yeah. Because I'm like, no one called it like during the prank, like <laughs> while it was going on. So, if you guys were wondering why we kind of have to back up from the pranks and things like that, this is uh, part of the reason why. That's why. <laughs> can't take a prank. Um, yeah, so we're going to invite all you guys to continue watching our vlogs. Hopefully, you guys actually like these as well. But if you guys are new to the channel, as always, click that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell because we post every single day. And smash the like button for us. And if you guys have not followed us already on Instagram and all that stuff, look down below. It's right there. Follow us on Instagram. We're going to be giving y'all all types of updates and things yeah, like that. Be more like kind of like updates, like play by play updates. And so just like these really big general updates we're going to do on the channel. Exactly. So 
We love y'all squad, CE squad. We thank you for all your support. Keep us just in high hopes and, you know, all positive vibes down in the comments because we are going through some stuff. Ooh, good vibes on them. Good vibes on them. <laughs> but as you can tell, we're all good. We spent last night just like chilling and talking about it and just just, just letting it all out. So yeah, we're in a good like headspace about it. So don't like feel super bad for us or anything. Exactly. So until next time, we out. Yeah.